Hello! In this video, you'll learn how to create your first catalog and entry. You've created a catalog and account, and when you log in, this is the screen you see. It says All Entries in the upper left-hand corner. This indicates the folder you are currently viewing. Now, follow the instructions on the screen by clicking or tapping, if you're on a mobile device, the Create Entry button, which is the orange circle with a plus symbol in it, to begin creating an entry. The first step in creating a catalog entry is to attach an associated file for the entry. Since I'm on a computer, when I click the Create Entry button, I have three options. I can create my entry with no file and attach files later. I can upload a PDF file in the case of cataloging an archival document, for instance, or I can select a photo from my computer's existing files. When I use the Catalog It app on a smartphone or tablet, I have an additional option to take a photo of the item I'm cataloging right there and then. Here, I select Photo, and now I browse my photos for the item I want to catalog. This is the piece I want to catalog today. I select the photo and click Open. On this screen, you see the full image I selected. After selecting an attachment, the second step in the entry creation process is to name it. A name is the only input catalog it requires to establish an entry. I'm going to call this entry Ascension since that is the title of this artwork. After naming this entry on this same screen, I have the option of adjusting my primary image's appearance in the catalog it thumbnail screen. With this row of four photo editing icons, I have the ability to rotate, crop, and zoom in or out to change or focus perspective on my image, like so. I can also grab and drag the photo to position it within the thumbnail's square viewing window like this. When I'm happy with my thumbnail image, I click Next here in the upper right. Please note importantly that none of these changes alters the original uploaded photo. The thumbnail is a derivative of the original photo file created for the thumbnail display by Catalogit. The thumbnail can also be edited at any time. After assigning a name and approving the entry's thumbnail appearance, the third step in the process is to select a classification for documenting the item. Catalogit offers a series of classifications listed here. Each classification contains a collection of data fields describing the specific attributes of that type of object. Select the classification that most closely matches the type of object you're cataloging. If you aren't sure which catalog classification is most exact, you can choose a more general classification such as Object Artifact or Art. Don't worry, you can always go back and edit the classification later as well. For this object, I'm going to select the Art classification and then the subclassification Sculpture. Many classifications have these further refinements. Catalog it regularly adds classifications, so you'll see this list grow over time. When you are satisfied, click Done to continue cataloging your object. Now, my photo file is uploading, and here I see the name and the classification indicated below it. Listed to the right are the data input fields for this classification. Here, I can begin by noting that this is a freestanding sculpture made of marble. Listed below in bold are these data headers, groupings of data input fields. Click on each data field to reveal the expansion fields within it and begin cataloging. Fill in as much data as you wish. You can come back and edit the entry at any time. Just be sure to click Save here in the upper right-hand corner when you are done. And voila! This first entry is now saved and displayed here in the thumbnail screen with the name and classification indicated. Stay tuned to re and view the next video in this series on editing an entry. Other help videos exist on creating folders, using tags, and more. Congratulations! You're on your way to cataloging and protecting your collection. See you soon and enjoy cataloging.